Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Uh, last night, I uh, went back to the Spooky Movie Film Festival and saw a uh, horror comedy called Killer Rack. It's pretty much what you'd expect of it from uh, any of the promo stuff. It is a complete schlock film uh, about uh, killer tits. Pretty much that's it. And... Uh, some of it was very, very amusing. Uh, some of it, most of it, not particularly my cup of tea again. Uh, this seems to happen a bit when we start uh, talking about random horror films and especially horror comedies, is a lot of them don't particularly work for me, uh, but they're, they, they play really well. And this is one of those that, that played pretty darn well to the audience uh, in the theater. Uh, the filmmakers were there, so that was nice to be able to hear them talk about the process of making this film. Uh, and there, like I said, there were some very, very funny bits in it. Uh, not something that I would have gone to see on my own uh, if it was the only thing playing and the only reason for me to go out. I likely wouldn't have done it. Um, but part of the Spooky Movie Festival, I uh, knew a few other people going. It was entertaining. Killer Rack is, is directed uh, by Greg Lamberson and written by uh, Paul McGinnis. And uh, Lamberson, uh, Paul, or Greg Lamberson, has done uh, a handful of, of uh, low-budget, uh, schlocky horror movies. Uh, I can't say I've seen any of them. Again, not my subsection of the genre particularly. Uh, but they, they've been received really well. They have a fan base. Uh, he puts together a decent enough movie. He seems a nice enough guy. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that his stuff is popular uh, and has been since the 80s. Uh, he's also a uh, author, has a bunch of uh, books out there that I also haven't read, but that's not surprising since I'm so behind on my fiction. Uh, I may be interested in checking out some of his books, because uh, they, they sound interesting. Um, but Killer Rack, uh, definitely in the low-budget movie category. Uh, definitely uh, not for kids by any stretch of the imagination. It, it is about killer tits. I mean, right there, you're, you're pretty much out of uh, safe-for-work territory. Some of, the, uh, some of the humor falls flat to me, uh, mainly because it's so schlocky at times. It's so completely just a one-off bit in the, in, in the film, as opposed to anything that's built up, anything that uh, has a uh, comedy depth to it. It's, it's a bunch of bits in a lot of cases, and that's, that's okay. Again, not to my liking, but delivered well enough. Uh, the thing that really uh, didn't work for me was, was the, the sound. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the sound is echoey. A lot of the ADR, you can tell, was ADR. There's stuff that doesn't mix right. It doesn't seem to be mixed right. But again... It's a low-budget film done in the style of low-budget schlock. So that's the sort of thing that people expect going in. It's, it's exactly what I expected going in. Um, so in, in the realm of delivering what you set out to do, uh, they've done it fantastically. Uh, the best thing in this movie, in my opinion, the part that brought me the most joy and amusement is uh, Lloyd Kaufman's bits. Uh, Lloyd Kaufman from uh, Troma, the king of modern schlock, uh, really. Uh, Troma has done uh, Sergeant Kabuki Man and Toxic Avenger and tons and tons of other uh, what people would generally consider really bad but kind of fun and very creative movies as well as some pretty solid horror films uh, scattered in there. And uh, so Lloyd Kaufman uh, plays a psychiatrist in this movie. Uh, he's got a couple of bits, uh, including a musical number, which, which is 
infinitely entertaining, very funny, uh, and the music uh, that was done specifically for this movie is is pretty uh, pretty entertaining. Uh, I cannot complain one bit about the original songs, and they are by far absolutely hilarious if you listen to the lyrics. The uh, acting is acceptable. The uh, filmmaking is is pretty solid. I mean, stuff flows really uh, well as well as you'd expect in a movie like this. Uh, the the technically not that bad. There's not much more I can say because it's not really my type of movie. Uh, but it plays really well uh, to the audience, a and there were people in the theater that absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna chalk this one up to just not for me, but you may really enjoy it if you like schlock uh, horror comedy stuff. So uh, name of the movie is Killer Rack. It's uh, making the festival circuit right now. Uh, there's going to inevitably be a distribution deal uh, down the road. Uh, they didn't have details on that yet, but uh, those of you in Buffalo, this is a local film for, uh, for you up in Buffalo, and uh, Greg Lamberson is a local Buffalo guy. Uh, so if you see him out and about and you're up in Buffalo, definitely shake his hand and, and congratulate him for putting in the time and effort to make movies and, and stuff that entertain people, because that's a good thing to do, and he's been doing it for a long time. So more power to him for that. Uh, I'm just probably not going to actively check out any of his other stuff on my own. Uh, but if you invite me over to movie night, I may show up for that, just because. So that's it uh, for tonight. If you've seen uh, Killer Rack or any of the other uh, movies like Slime City that Greg Lamberson uh, has, has done, uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know uh, what you think about schlock horror and that uh, decidedly low-budget style uh, of horror films specifically. Uh, so uh, like this video if you have any inkling uh, that you like what I've said. Uh, subscribe if you want to keep getting in, if you want to get informed of these uh, every day since I'm still managing to put them out every day. Uh, and uh, share this if you have someone else in your life who loves schlock horror. Uh, they'll, they'll probably be interested in this one uh, when they can get their hands on it. Uh, I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.